new footage of Gaddafi has come out by Global Post. It's a news thing. They've released frame-by-frame -frame analysis of a video obtained exclusively by them that shows the rebel, f the rebel forces who captured Gaddafi violating his rectum with a knife as they were arresting him, torturing him, and killing him. This is what, th this, this, what they, this, uh, the heroes, right? They toppled this evil dictator, supposedly evil dictator, and sodomized him. Saddam Hussein was an actual dictator. He got a trial. Gaddafi got beaten, tortured, murdered, and sodomized with a blade. The author of the article is unclear as to whether the item was a knife or the end of a gun. Um, Libyans call it a um, bickety, bickety. It's a, or it's it's kind of like a like a utility knife known as as a as a Becker knife or um or a, like a BKR. Sodomizing him with a knife, a blade. Not only did the so-called rebels, NATO-backed so-called rebels, with French weapons, go around murdering black Africans. Murder foreign workers. The guy that they were really were after the whole time, after they were lying and saying it was about other things, raped him. Isn't it funny? Even the people who work for NATO go around raping. Even just working for NATO, they're rapists. How? How, how typical is this? You invade Iraq, the pictures come out of US soldiers raping Iraqi women. They invade Libya, and video comes out of them, of them raping Gaddafi. You know, for all their vaunted, rabid, anti-homosexuality, they go and do this. This is what the US taxpayer paid for to rape a foreign leader. When his life was threatened, it was already terrorism. Threatening the life of a foreign head of state is illegal under the Patriot Act. You, you remember the Patriot Act, right, Obama? You, you remember that? But to go overseas, get a foreign head of state, and sodomize them with a blade these are the so-called heroes that liberated Libya? You've got to be kidding me. This shows the... The insanely cold-blooded nature. We have to stop Gaddafi. Oh, he's evil. He's cold-blooded. He tortures people. <laughs> Take a look in the mirror. He was accusing him of committing torture. Countries that torture people. A country that tortured people in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, probably Somalia too, and God knows how many other countries that we're not aware of. People who, who put people to death and killed them for just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Their own country. <laughs> this... It's, it, it's, it's just mind-boggling. I can't even really find the words for this. They raped Gaddafi. This is what the U.S. taxpayer was paying for? This is, this is what NATO was supporting? This is what Canadian uh, C-18 fighter jets were patrolling the skies of Libya for? This is what my tax money went to pay for? 
unbelievable that the people who claim to be heroes are always worse than the person they get rid of. My, I, don't, I don't know why the Middle East doesn't just storm North America and wipe it out. God knows we, you know. I was so pissed at Gaddafi dying. I thought maybe he had a chance to survive this. At least get out of the country and get somewhere safe. Not only did they not give him a trial, they raped him. Is I was hoping this would work. Just just come to a nice beautiful calm setting early in the morning. Maybe that would calm my temper a bit before I made this video because a lot of people got mad at the last one I made on Gaddafi being dead. And I said some things that would reasonably upset people. But actually raped him. I, I really don't know what I can say. I mean, is, this, this, this is NATO. This, this is imperialism. This is the savage beast that imperialism turns men into that Shea talked about at the United Nations. I think it was like 64 or 62 or 63. One of those years. He spoke so eloquently of how imperialism turns average men into savage beasts. Men who were just, who were normal men. And then because of the conditions of capitalism, because of the conditions of imperialism, imperialism, the highest form of capitalism, as Lenin said, turn them into monsters. And this, this, this is what our society has. This is what our society has become. I think about all those people that were shooting their mouths off at China because of this dead kid. And those there that were rightfully so guilty of this as a crime. And then turn around, the whole country was furious at what happened. The Chinese public was outraged that this happened and demanded justice. I guarantee you that guy who turned himself into the police for hitting that kid, he's done. He's uh. No one's going to have any sympathy for what happens to him. Despite all the angry denunciations of blaming Chinese people for this, not the nation of China, Chinese people. Oh, you know, over there, they, they have no regard for life in that part of the world. Take a look in the mirror. What regard for life do you have? The pro-imperialists, the pro-war people, the jingoists, the pro-war conservatives, what regard for life do you have? Tell me that. You know, you make it really hard to be a first worldist. You really do. Now, sometimes you, it, it's, it's stuff like this that really pushes me towards being a third worldist. How the people in first world nations could cheer this on. And then turn around and wonder why the world hates them. Why, why does the world hate us? Well, they're, they're jealous of our freedoms. No. No. They're angry at you for things like this. For things you do to them. For the wars you push on them. For the hate you spill on them. For the racist things you, you say about them. For the insanely hateful things that you just say about them. Oh, Gaddafi was a crazy man. Everybody hates him. He's, he's crazy. Oh, man, he's a lunatic. He's blah, 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 blah. Ask somebody who says that why he's crazy. And you know what? More often than not, they can't even give you a single reason. They don't know. The media said that and said it over and over and over again. Therefore, it must be true. That was, that's the famous line from Hitler, wasn't it? A lie repeated often enough becomes the truth. And that's, and that's what we have, a so-called truth. And the, the, the racism, the absolute racism was, was 
palpable. Oh, look at Gaddafi. He dresses like a crazy man. What is this? Your bed sheets? What is that? That's traditional African clothing. He was the leader of an African country. That's why he was wearing those crazy clothes. What would it be if I were to turn around and say, hey, you see all those Western imperialists wearing jeans? Wow, those must be imperialist murderer pants. The ridiculous, racist, hateful nature of Western society is so, is so common, is so normal that we don't even see it anymore. Look at Sarah Palin when she was mouthing off about, was there Rachel Ray in that Dunkin' Donuts commercial? She had that, that uh, Palestinian scarf on. She says, oh, I don't appreciate her coming on television and wearing a terrorist scarf. A terrorist scarf? And you wonder why the world hates you and your imperialist murderer pants. You know, in the beginning, I only semi liked Gaddafi. Semi. And the more I learned about him, the more I liked him. He had real crazy ideas like universal health care, full education, building a river to get water to go to farms to feed people. He had really crazy ideas like that. Just, it just, God, I, uh, just so sickened by it. I don't want to hear people bitching that they hate us and they hate our freedoms ever again. Because if by this point you haven't figured out that it's not about hating you for some supposed freedoms that you have. You, you gotta be lost. You, you, you're just lost as a human being. You have, you have no ability to understand what has been happening. What has been happening in the last 50 years. Or, or hell, what's even been happening in the last, the last 10 years. They can just feed you anything and you'll, you'll buy it. Jump on the war bandwagon. Because it's your duty as a citizen or some other superfluous national BS. You know what? I've had enough of this. Actually, it does get worse. As I was walking home, what do I come across? The newspaper. And what's in the newspaper? New transnational transitional government instating Sharia law. Abdel Jalid, the new leader, just installed Sharia law. And there's reports of gangs going around raping women, women being deliberately targeted for rape. So now we've got rape gangs against women and a religious fundamentalist government pushing through Sharia law. And now I gotta read all the idiots in the sun, the star, and the rest of the media going, oh, what have we done? We, erased, we got rid of an evil dictator. Now we have something that could be worse. How did we let this happen? Because you handed the country over to them, you dumb fucks. I can't believe this. They're actually all going about complaining that there's a, there's, there's a Sharia law government in now. Now they're complaining that, that this might be worse than Gaddafi. You idiots! Every single person in the mainstream media who is against Gaddafi, you are an idiot. That's what this was going to be the entire time. This is exactly what was going to happen. And that's why a lot of people were supporting Gaddafi. That's why a lot of Marxists were supporting him, even though he wasn't a socialist. Because they know the person who comes in after him, the pro-NATO puppet that comes in, 
is going to be a hundred million times worse than Gaddafi. He's been dead, what, less than a week? And already you're, you're going off about the, the guy replacing him being even worse. We fucking told you. We told you this was going to happen. I mean to wonder if the media is so far in the pocket of the ruling class and NATO, or they're just really that stupid. Congratulations. NATO, America, made Libya worse. Gaddafi had these really crazy ideas of universal health care, education, you know, getting water out to farms. Thanks to you and the rest of the assholes who supported this invasion, they now have Sharia law. For all your big, big talk of being against religious fundamentalist governments and ideology, you just handed over another Middle Eastern country to one. Congratulations, you fucking retards. I guarantee you in like 10 years, there's going to be a war against Libya because of a religious fundamentalist government that's going to be hating America and be accused of sending terrorist attacks out of them. You just made another one. You, don't, you, you, you just don't learn. You know what? Right there. That's to every person who didn't supported the invasion of Libya. That's for you. This, this is for every soldier who fought on their side. Whether mercenary, extraordinarily small number of Libyans who actually did it, NATO forces, and every person who funded it. Congratulations, you idiots. You made it worse.